Hey, so welcome back and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called best time to buy and sell stock with cooldown. And so it's a dynamic programming problem where essentially you're given this array called prices and these represent a certain stock price at a particular day. And so on day zero, it would have a price of one, but then on day one, it then has a price of two. And then on the second day, it then has a price of three. And so essentially, and this is kind of a, a common problem on the code. I think there's a lot of variations here, um, all to do with like, yeah, buying and selling. And this is the second version. So I think this is like the, the third version um, with this addition of like a cooldown. And so essentially you wanna maximize. So this is a maximization problem where you can either buy and sell the stock, but you can only do like one operation at a time. And so you're either like um, one you're buying or you could be selling or you could be like in the cool down state. Okay, and so essentially at any point you can say, okay, I wanna buy this. But once you bought it, you then have to either sell it at one point. But if you're selling, you can't like buy something while you're selling. So essentially you can only perform a one operation at a time or you can only be at one state at a time. Uh, what this cooldown means is just that after you sold your stock, you have to wait one day until you can start buying again. Okay, so say if you bought here and then you sold it for two here, you would then have to skip over this where it's at three and then kind of consider onwards from this point on. Um, another option is you can just like skip. You don't have to buy or sell or cool down at any point in time. Like you can kind of wait a few days before you buy or sell or what, whatever. So, um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and implement this. So essentially uh, what you should do is you should think about what the recursive relationship would look like. And so you start at like day zero and at day zero, you're kind of in the buying state. And there's kind of three or really just two different paths at this point that you can go down. One is you can either buy it or you can skip that day. And so since you're at index zero, you can say, okay, um, why don't we go ahead and buy this? And so at that point, we're kind of subtracting one from here since it, since it has a cost of one. And now we're going to increment to the next uh, location. And now we're going to be in the selling state. Or you can just kind of skip to the next step, which is kind of zero, because it has zero cost. And so now you're at the next uh, index, but then you're still in this buying state. Let's just expand uh, one more level here. So, okay, at this point on, you kind of have two different paths. You can either sell this uh, for two, so plus two. And essentially that would then be, okay, now you move on to index two and you're now in the cool down state. And then from this point on here, you could either also say, okay, rather than uh, selling it, um, and getting two, why don't we just skip to the next step and then say, okay, now we're at index two, but we're still in the selling state. Okay, I won't go any further, but you can kind of imagine that this goes on further. Uh, this cool down state, after you wait a day, you would then be say on index three and in the buying state now. All right, and so let's go ahead and implement this. So if we look at that kind of top down approach, um, typically what you want to do is you define some uh, DP function here, which we're going to return the result at the end of here. And so we, you wanted to find like your base case here. And so, okay, what would that be in this case? Well, that's okay. What we're going to be having to keep track of is exactly what I was showing you at each point in time, we're having a particular state and a particular index. And so let's keep track of that. So the state is going to be basically three possible things, which is uh, you can either be buying or selling or in that kind of cool down, wait one day state. And so essentially then, now that we have this information, we can define our base case wherever kind of we're at the very end of time here, where you're kind of hitting the end of this length of the prices. Well, there's nothing uh, you can do any uh, more. So you might as well just start propagating your answer upwards. So if I is equal to or greater than the length of this input array, let's just go ahead and return zero. And we're just returning zero in this case because while well, there's nothing else we can really do here, um, we simply want to start 
returning our answer and kind of propagating those results up the chain. Um, you don't, it, there's no added cost or added benefit of reaching this end case, so you just return zero. Uh, otherwise, then you want to be kind of considering these decisions that I showed you in that kind of recursive relationship. And so let's just quickly fill this out though. So we start at index zero, and initially we're going to be in this kind of buy state. All right, and so essentially we're going to use uh, kind of this switch case in Python here for matching these possible states that we could be on. And so essentially the first case that we could have is, okay, what if we're in the buy state, right? We could also have the sell state. Um, and then finally, there's just the kind of default state here, um, which will be kind of the cooldown state. All right, and so to handle the cooldown state, what that's gonna be is, well, we simply want to move forward in time. And so that just means, okay, let's just increment to the next step. And then now we'll be no longer in the cooldown state, but we'll be back in the buy state. All right, but we also wanna fill out the uh, buy and sell cases here. And so the buy case is gonna be okay. There's two different paths that we can have, same with the sell case. And that's gonna be okay. We wanna take the maximum here. So let's return the maximum of these two possible paths. And so the two possible paths is we can either buy the whatever the current stock price is, or we can say, why don't I just skip this current day and look at buying maybe the next day. All right, so let's say that. So let's go to the next day. And let's say that we did buy this day. So now we'll be moving on to this sell uh, state. But then also we want to be basically, since we just bought, subtracting what it costs to buy that stock. And so that's gonna be the prices at the current index. But naturally the other choice is we just stay in this buy state and we don't buy anything here. All right, so we wanna do something very similar, but now for the sell state here. And so what that's gonna be is okay, say we're in the sell state, we can either say that, all right, what if we did sell, we then move on to the cooldown state, right? Because we have to wait at least one day. Or we can simply say that, okay, um, rather than gaining these benefits of selling at this purchase price, why don't we say that we're still in the sell uh, state and instead just uh, remain there, but simply say, okay, why don't we move or try to sell at a later date? All right, and so this is pretty good, but the only thing that remains here is that we have to cache this and that just helps with um, the time complexity here and helps with minimization. All right, and uh, success. So yeah, that's uh, today's daily Lico problem. So I hope that helped a little bit and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.